Hi, this is a demonstration of a cheap homemade head tracking solution. Um, if you have heard of Track IR and if, you, if you've looked into it, you will know that it costs a ridiculous amount for what it is. It's, uh, it's a great piece of um, equipment, but it's very overpriced for what it does. It's basically just an IR emitter and receiver, and it tracks three LEDs, which is exactly what this does. Um, what I have here is a 3D printed track clip. A, uh, a friend offered to 3D print this for me and it works very well. My initial plan was to build a, uh, a track cap, which is just, well, you just glue three LEDs to a baseball cap and you, it looks very silly, but it works all the same. Um, this, this right here is just it's just um, attached to my headset with twist ties and it it's, stays on there and it's powered by USB. I, uh, I installed a fuse and everything so I'm, I'm fairly certain it won't uh, it won't uh, in, in case there's a short or anything I'm fairly certain it won't take my motherboard down with it which was my biggest concern with this. Um, these are just uh, three IR LEDs, very simple. Um, anyone can do this. Um, one bit of, ad of advice that I can give everyone is, uh, let me turn these off for a second. If you look at these LEDs, and if you can't just buy wide angle LE LEDs, um, which you can buy, but they are a bit more expensive, you can just take normal IR LEDs and uh, file them down a bit. As you can see, they are sort of squared at the top. Um, just take a bit of sandpaper or a file or anything and file them all the way down to the diode. Of course, don't touch the diode. Just leave a little bit, little bit of space. Don't don't go too crazy, and uh, round them off just a little bit at the tip, and um, they will diffuse light a much much better. Um, most LEDs have a very low viewing angle so if you look at this this is an early tryout model I made uh, powered by, by a 9 volt battery. Uh, if you look at this LED particularly if you look at it from the side you can barely see it and if you look at it from the front it very nearly blinds the camera. That is very bad for this purpose because you you will be moving your head around a lot and uh, if you move your head 30 degrees and the camera already can't track the LEDs then that's, uh, that's kind of terrible. So um, yeah, just do this and you'll be fine. Um, for my camera I am using a PS3i which is pretty much the best camera for, the, for this purpose. Um, it's if you if you go to the free track forums or anywhere um, everyone will praise this camera as the very best camera it tracks at 120 FPS um, if you lower the resolution a little bit at the normal resolution it still tracks at 75 FPS which is very good still um, I did not remove the IR filter in this webcam um, you can do that but well, you won't be able to use it as a normal webcam anymore because the colors get, get all uh, fluffed up and uh, even if you do it perfectly, it still loses a bit of focus. Um, which is just fine for this purpose. Uh, you only need it to track LEDs, but if you actually want to use it as a normal webcam, you can do what I did here and leave the IR filter alone and use... Um, use a pair of old uh, red and cyan 3D glasses as an IR cutout filter or a visible light filter, whatever you want to call it. If you do remove the, uh, the IR filter, you can use um, three layers of uh, exposed camera film, like the old negatives, you know what I mean, or um, a floppy disk film, although that's a little bit worse for what it is. Or of course you can just use a, um, a professional filter, which uh, will uh, will cost like twenty dollars or something at the very least which um, isn't very good because obviously this is this is this is supposed to be a very cheap homemade alternative you don't want to spend twenty dollars on a filter 
the camera itself it was only twelve dollars or something off eBay so um, anyway I guess I'll make a short demonstration now I'll get it I'll jump into a game and um, we'll see how it works and here we are this is face track no IR the program I use for this there are many alternatives um, open track is the latest one and uh, it looks very promising I haven't tried it yet but for now I will be using this it's face track no IR again with the point tracker plugin uh, this is what the webcam sees I don't know if you can see my mouse right now but um, it's basically just the black screen and uh, it can see the LEDs which is what you want to have and uh, you can look at the, the little portrait up here and uh, you can sort of see the values that are being inputted um, and if you look in the background uh, I have a set of course of running in the background and you can sort of get a get an idea of what this thing is capable of so with this you have six degrees of freedom so obviously you have up down left right diagonal whatever uh, you can roll your head uh, I, I don't I don't have it set to roll too much because I don't want to just crook my head a little bit and have uh, have my in-game camera go mad so I just have it a little bit you can you can you can customize everything here are the curves you have your yaw or left and right pitch up pitch down roll and uh, these are your axes um, X Y and Z X which is obviously left and right you just just move your whole body left and right and the camera follows uh, Z is forward and back and Y is up and down which I, I don't know why you'd ever do that but I I guess it works this uh, this works very well for any kind of simulator uh, flight simulators I, I don't play flight simulators I would like to play flight simulators but I, I don't have a flight stick um, I will probably get one at some point just for the fun of it um, and yeah it works just fine you can you can literally move any way and you can just go mad and it will still work and it basically tracks your head in real time what more do you want I am very satisfied with it personally I think it's great um, the whole thing costed way less than uh, the track IR would have cost me I, I think I paid like fifteen dollars for everything in total which compared to the two hundred dollars or whatever track IR costs um, is very nice obviously you will have to do some soldering and uh, you'll have to like figure some things out but um, I don't know if anyone wants to do this there are many resources online um, if you if you want to ask me personally you can just ask in the comments and I'll I'll give you any kind of uh, help you need. I, I'm not a I'm not an expert or anything, but I I know plenty plenty of things about it now. I guess I, I researched it a lot before I actually went through with it. But yeah, that's basically it.